Okay. So I wanted to really just talk about something. Everybody says like they've been having like spiritual awakenings and stuff like this and like all this stuff, right? But honestly, spiritual awakenings look like this. They look like this. I'm sorry for crying. I never make videos like this at all. But I'm literally at. I'm literally just at the bottom of my life. No, I feel like it's like over. And usually, like, that's how it feels. But this one is more intense. And it's been lasting for a longer time and i'm not really good with my emotions i try to you know put up a guard and i try to you know but this one this one is hitting hard if you feel like you're like lost in the world or like things are not going your way or like you don't know where you're gonna go or people don't care about you if you just feel like that just know god loves you and that he's watching over you and that like your life's about to change and that like you're gonna be okay like i don't feel okay right now i really don't because i know i don't have it. but i know i'm okay and i'm gonna be i'm gonna be okay A lot of people in my life, a lot of people in your life don't want to see you succeed. A lot of people in your your life are doubting you. The people that you sleep with every day might not want the best for you. And you have to know that. God's sake, you have to know that. But you also have to know that you are beautiful and you are loving, you are kind. And even if people are telling you the opposite of that, don't listen. Don't listen. Because you're not. Yeah, you might have things to fix, but you're not bad and horrible as people make you seem. The people that are making you seem like you're bad and horrible are the people that are really... <sighs> yeah. I found out a lot about myself. I found a lot about myself in different ways. I'm sorry if I'm not speaking clearly right now. I'm just trying to, like, undump my brain from emotions, but... <sighs> yeah. I did a three-day fast, and um, it wasn't for Rosh Hashanah, if anybody's asking, but I did a three-day fast, and um, I did a dry fast. I try to do a dry fast. I usually do intermittent fasting anyway, but um, I try to dry fast, and uh, it was the toughest thing I've done by far. Like, when you fast and, like, you do it like subconsciously it's on a different ball game but when you're doing it consciously like it becomes hard it becomes draining it becomes very like you know but the benefits of doing it i really did find clarity in my mind i found like it's almost like a missing puzzle piece that connected in my mind when i did this fast I didn't do it 100 percent properly but i definitely did it to the point where i felt the effects of it People are like, James, you're skinny. Why are you fasting? I fasted for, you know, a few reasons. Um, mostly just to, like, really, like, feel what it feels like to, you know, um, do it consciously. I've never really fasted consciously, and I really wanted to see, like, the effects that it would have on my brain and it, it it did its job it definitely was hard it wasn't easy but i definitely feel spiritually i got a lot out of it and i feel like if you feel like 
you should do a three-day fast you feel like it would be beneficial definitely do that for yourself but make sure your body is um meant for it and don't do it if you have like any serious you know medical um issues because i never want anybody to get hurt um so yeah fasting was very like different i felt like i could speak to god a lot more clearer and a lot of people um say they feel the same way they feel a very heightened spiritual connection um and i just feel like overall i got a lot out of what i needed but in this current moment i feel like things are gonna just be falling down things are falling down and and you're having the biggest journey of your life happen it feels like everything is falling down crumbling and that's just what transformation feels like but it still hurts it's still it's still heavy it's still scary it's still all these things but i just trust in my lord i trust in my own i trust in my father that you know he'll get me out of this and like I think the faith is what keeps people alive, literally, and what keeps me hopeful. Um, I'm sorry I started crying. I just genuinely didn't know who to talk to or where to go. So I kind of just, like, wanted to talk about my perspective. But the saying is really true. At the top, it does get lonely. And I'm 22. I currently don't live at my house i don't talk to my mom i don't have a dad don't talk to my siblings um i live with my girlfriend it's not going so good so now i'm just figuring life out and it really does get lonely at the top but understand that like there's other people going through worse things than you and like it's not about that, but there's other people going through worse things than you, and that's what I keep in my mind, like, just to keep me humble and keep me grateful for things, and, like, but understand that you don't deserve to go through what you're going through, but understand that it's making you stronger, it's helping you grow. Um, just know no matter how hard life gets, never forget who you serve, never forget, like, your priorities, your morals, your your everything. Never let anybody take the good parts about you because those good parts are you the core of you, the those are your character, you know, it's it's a bunch of things. And I feel like once you let somebody take the good parts of you, you start to turn into somebody you're not. You start to lose your identity. And um yeah. And I think that's why it also hurts is because like I know I'm still being my authentic self. I'm being my true self. I'm trying as hard as I can. I'm doing all the things right. But yeah, I'm still doing everything wrong in everybody else's eyes. But I know that all God wants me to do is really try for him. And that's all that matters. And I'm realizing that, like, it's not about everybody else. It's literally just about me and God and, like, where he takes me. And, like, I know that. I'm meant to help people, but I can't help people until I help myself. So it's like, I think that was the hardest realization growing up as well was just like realizing like how many things I wanted to do and how many, how many people I wanted to help and not being able to do it and really realizing like I got to put myself first before anybody else, you know? Um, So yeah. But before I get off, I just wanted to say thank you for listening to this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to make more videos for you. And I'm not crying for any reason, but just expression and also just getting weight off my chest. I feel like this is the first vulnerable video I've really created. Um... And it's the most stupid is probably the most like like a random this video you'll probably pop up, but honestly it's not stupid, but you know what I mean. God I just wanna say 
If there's anybody going through hard times, provide them with protection. Provide them with an ease of the mind and heart. Put a protection around them. Put your cloak of protection around them. And guide them. Amen. I'm very emotional right now. I can't really get the words I want to say out. But you know what I mean. Just stay safe.